Yo guys, what is going on? It is time for Leon Dreisaitl. Yes, Leon Dreisaitl is now and it is time to try his MSP. We're going to be mentioning something a little different and that is going to be the skating and the shooting. Right now we're going to start with the skating. 86 overall speed. Leon Dreisaitl literally has 175 cards faster than him. Just forwards, just forwards, 170, 175. So that is something to keep in mind when making this card. If you are good at protecting the puck, you will like this card. I am going to say I am mediocre to average at this game. So I am okay at protecting the puck. I'm not the greatest. So this card really struggled for me. I could not make this Leon Dreisaitl work. I'm going to show you his skating here. As now we have talked, he is 170th fastest card at forward position in this game that is a lot of cards faster than him and some are like 80 overall 78 overall so it's something to keep in mind if you like fast players this would probably be a pass for you if you are good at protecting the puck this would probably be a make for you he has a really nice shot he's a really good card to use and i did notice there was times he was hard to knock off the puck but i did also notice at times i am not that great at protecting the puck so this card didn't do anything to help me out keeping that in the back of your mind right so this card you know i i was okay with him i didn't mind him but i would definitely prefer the eric carlson over this dry sidle so that is my opinion so far i would definitely not take him over carry price or i would definitely not take carry price over the dry sidle but keep that in mind that i would probably go eric carlson over this dry settle card and uh, that not only that because defense is a lot stronger this year but because you know leon dry settle just didn't work for me and i'm going to show you a couple of stats and why when uh when we get there but you know his skating was really slow and his cur his curling his cutting like the card was not the best for me now when it comes to the shooting of this card there is about 10 to 15 cards with better accuracy than him so not many but when it comes to power there is a lot more cards with better so he's not really top tier skating he's about mid for skating and he's not really top tier in the shooting so keeping that in mind before putting the investment into this card that i don't think he would be a good fit for a lot of people unless you're really good at protecting the puck with a player and you're really good at keeping people from knocking you off the puck. But I think Tage Thompson, when we have, after we try him, we'll have to see who's better, Leon or Tage in that regard because Tage is a lot bigger than Leon, so he might be easier for me to protect the puck with him than Leon was. So the skating's not there, the shooting's there, but it, it's still not top-tier shooting, so that's something to keep in the back of your mind um all around this leon dry saddle is not a good card for me i don't think uh, i don't think if another one comes up i don't know how i'd handle it maybe he gets better as his overall gets higher but for now um this is not a card that i would recommend putting on your team unless like i said you are really good at protecting the puck he he's not there for skating he is like 100 you, there's 175 more options that you could take when when in regard to skating and then there's like for shooting if if he was if his wrist shot accuracy and power was at the top i would say that is what you're building you're building his shooting but he is not at the top for shooting but he is at the top for a price tag this card costs a ton to build so when it comes down to that guys i'm i would never really suggest putting the coins into a card that doesn't at least excel at one thing he's not the biggest in the game he's not the fastest in the game and he's not the best shot in the game so at that point i'm gonna have to go for a hard pass do not build this dry cycle unless you're an edmonton Oilers fan building a theme team whatever you want to say it this card is a struggle bus for me as you're going to see here 12 games i tried to make this card work 12 games three goals two assists a minus four i could not make it work and i just wanted to try to put that out there to save you guys if you were unsure because you're not a fan of edmonton or a fan of leon dreisaitl i would not do him and i prefer the matthew nyes over him so when it comes to this matthew nyes goes back on my first line leon dreisaitl completely comes off my team and then i go build the tage thompson so that's where I, that's where i'm at guys leave in the comment section down below where you're at because i'm curious if you built him what are your thoughts because everybody has a different set of opinions on cards in this game and i'm curious to see what everyone has and what everyone thinks so leon is he on your team if he is are you happy with him i built him not happy with him powering him down switching to the tage thompson which is going to be tomorrow 
don't miss that and so you don't hit the sub button notification bell so you do and i can't wait to see your feedback and opinions on this card guys thank you for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and i hope you are enjoying the team reviews the player reviews sorry the player review cards and i would love to hear your feedback on anything else you might want to hear i've been hearing comparison cards at the end of the video can i add comparison cards on who this guy would be like so i said maddie nice but again maddie nice isn't a card you can go buy right now so maybe with tage thompson i will find a couple of comps and the price tag comparing him to the price tag of tage thompson and the comps and uh we'll see what we can do from there but thank you for watching i hope you did enjoy it till next time ciao ciao